the pearl of a great price. The pearl has a name and those who know its name have found it. That name is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now this film is about how to discover the pearl of great price and you can check out the trailer right here. I was in the backyard thinking about life, how things have been hard. It's as if I heard a voice and Jesus said, I see you. For we have this treasure in earthen vessels. The Almighty God hid everything that we need for life in this pearl of great price, Jesus Christ. When we have Jesus, we have the Almighty God dwelling on the inside of us. And He is a hidden treasure that when you discover, everything else pales in comparison. My child, look at the cross. Look at the nails in Jesus' hands. See the blood. That's how much I love you. The Pearl of Great Price. Tuesday, 8 p.m. and again on Shine On Demand. Well, who better to explain more about this documentary than the producer himself, Dr. Dragos. He is a book author, award-winning scientist and speaker who has presented on five continents. His calling in life is to bring people to Jesus Christ and empower this generation to fulfill their God-given dreams and destiny. And he is right here with us in the studio. Welcome. Thank you. You, Thank you for having me. Oh, our pleasure. It's, you know, it's just nice to have people in, in person yeah. for a it change. Is. Yeah. yeah, it really well, is. That's why I came. <laughs> <laughs> just nice to meet some actual people for a change. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, before we start, tell us, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your, your background. I understand your journey to finding Christ was quite an interesting one. Yes, so I grew up in Romania in a post-communist country, and uh, I didn't want to have anything to do with religion and Christianity, simply because I saw everything was religion. Mm. So in my 20s, I spent about seven years, I was looking for truth. My, my whole life was about what is the truth. So I spent seven years investigating every spiritual tradition from around the world, from Alaska, North America, South America, going, all my, going through the map east mm -hmm. and uh, all the way down to Australia and New Zealand. And after seven years, I didn't find anything. And actually what happened was I went deeper and deeper and deeper into darkness. I didn't know that actually other spiritual traditions are the doctrines of devils. So um, after seven years, I ended up uh, in deep depression and basically I wanted to, to kill myself in plain terms. Wow. And one night when I reached the end of everything, um, I was in my parents' apartment and I at midnight, I grabbed the pillow and I cried out from the bottom of my heart, from the innermost being, I cried out, God, if you're real, help. I didn't know if he was real. I didn't know who he was. And um, what happened a few months later, I ended up in Hawaii in a friend's house. I was all alone in the house, all alone in this uh, beautiful farm. And I had received in the email this book by Catherine Kuhlman called The Greatest Power in the World. Ah, right, great no author. Yes, I had no idea who she was. So uh, I opened the book, I began to read the foreword. I was standing by the kitchen looking out the window and the book said, um, the foreword said, Catherine Kuhl Kuhlman, a mighty woman of God in the 40s and 50s. And I, I think I thought, well, this is a Christian book. I don't want to read this. Mm -hmm. So I flipped the foreword and as I read the last line of the sentence, if you have not made that full surrender to Jesus Christ, do it now. I felt like an electric shock going through my heart, like the hospital pedals wow. that you see discharged in my heart. Mm -hmm. Like I dropped the book in the sink and I almost went down on the floor. I had to grab the sink with my elbows not to collapse. Wow. So when I got myself up half a second later, three things had happened in an instant. Number one, I was totally delivered and healed of depression, uh, pain, guilt, everything I had carried for 30 years in an instant, completely gone. Wow. I didn't know, but then was fulfilled in my life what uh, the scripture said, he has come to break the power of sin and death over us. So in a split second, he broke it. The second thing was, I knew that I knew that I knew that Jesus Christ is the truth. 
Now, I had no mental understanding of what it means, but the seed had been implanted so deep in my heart because the next thought I had was, if the entire Nobel Prize panels and winners of all history will be here and tell me the opposite, I would say, you have no idea what you're talking about. I understand mm -hmm. why people rather lose their lives than deny him. Wow. And the third thing that happened was, um, I knew that he knows everything about me. Like all my sin, all my everything just came out. Mm. And I spent the next six months to a year just repenting with the face on the floor, crying in the carpet, repenting of everything that I have ever done. So that's how the journey started. <laughs> I'm interested to know you, when you're at your very lowest point and you yep. were feeling like taking your life to the time that you discovered this book, how much time had passed there? A few months, maybe two to three months, I guess. Right. And did you have the, any... The, 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 the moment I cried out to God, he answered. Yeah. Because after I cried out to him in the, in the very next moment, I reached out to a friend in Hawaii and he said, yep, come. So the answer was already on the way, oh, wow. but it still had to, I, I mm. still had to be on a plane, fly there and sure, but he, he answered in an instant. Wow, what an amazing yeah. story. That's mm. awesome. So tell us the importance of um, The Pearl of Great Price. I wanted to make this movie because the person of Jesus Christ is what every human soul is trying to find. It's not the miracles. It's not the healing, it's not, uh, it's not even heaven itself. All of these are, they come as a result of finding the person. Mm. But everything that has eternal value, everything that matters for the human heart is the person of Jesus Christ. And um, that's the reason for the movie. That's why it's called The Pearl of Great Price, because when you find him, everything else becomes worthless. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. So it's kind of acknowledging the fact that I think sometimes we can approach God looking for as a means to an end, right? Yes, that exactly. we will get the thing, but actually if you have him, you will find yeah. the, the solution to those in the yeah. first place. And what's amazing is that everything that we need for life mm. has been placed by God in this seed, which is Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that was sent to earth. Mm. Nothing of this world can do us any good, mm. nothing. So. In His mercy, God put everything eternal, whether it's uh, His eternal life, His resurrection power, His, uh, His grace, His mercy, the love that we are looking for, the mercy that we need, the forgiveness that we, we usually don't give to others, but he, everything He placed in Jesus. And He sent Jesus from heaven down to earth. Mm. So that's why Jesus is not a means to an end. Mm. He is. He is the beginning and he's also the end of everything. Mm. So what's your ultimate hope then with a, a documentary like this? What's the impact that you want to make? About 10 years before I met him, um, every time I was asking the question, what is my purpose in life? So I was looking up to the night sky and asking the question, what is my purpose in life? Because I just, my heart could not cling to anything. It's just mm. trying to find. And the same words came over and over like, waves on the shores of my consciousness bring people back to me, bring mm. people back to me. Now, I didn't know there was a Holy Spirit and I didn't know who the me that the voice was talking about was. <laughs> it wasn't an audible voice, by the way. It's amazing uh, how you just followed that. You, you recognized that it was an important voice. Yes, yeah. but it took, it took some years to discover who the voice sure. uh, was. Right. And uh, so what I'm, my aim is with the documentary is to fulfill that, is to bring people to Jesus Christ. Mm. 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 So have you got plans for any other movies, documentaries, anything like that? Yes, um, I am just starting to work on another series called Behold the Breath of Life. Oh, yeah. It's a documentary series of seven episodes, um, the mystery of Jesus Christ through the eyes of science. Mm. Because some years ago I had this thought about um, people say they don't believe in God because we live in the days of science. But what if that very science that they use to deny God demonstrates with actual data that Jesus Christ is exactly who he says he is? Yeah. Mm. Like my, my PhD is in, uh, is in data mining in the space industry and I'm, I, I'm taking all that knowledge to show through the eyes of data and science that 
Jesus Christ is exactly who he says he is. Mm. Mm. Wow. Sounds awesome. It's an amazing ministry. And I mean, again, we can speak to within the Rima family as well about how important it is to have ministry partners with you in that. And of course, yes. trying to uh, create these requires financial support as well. Yes. So I'm sure there's people who are perhaps watching right now who want to provide that support for you. How would they go about doing that? I'll just go to my website, drdragos.com and, uh, and give there or partner on the, the pearlmovie.com. Hmm. And that's it. And the, the funds I receive, I place in my new, my new project. Brilliant. Wow. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It's been so good talking with you and all the best for thank your you. movie making, documentary making. Mm. It sounds thank awesome. You. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you.